God, this place is, this is amazing. This is one of those places, like if I lived out in the countryside, I'd lazily work, I would work all day in the farm and then roll up here at like 6 p.m. and hang out with my buds until like 2 a.m. and just have soju and meat. Welcome to Eating What Is Given, the channel dedicated to exploring all over Korea to try to find the best food experiences. According to YouTube, 60% of our viewers still haven't subscribed. Please consider subscribing if you like what you see, as it encourages us to keep on going and keep on searching for some amazing food experiences in Korea. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. I'm still trying to figure this place out. Maybe someone watching can help me out in the comments. But in the middle of the countryside, about 40 minutes north of Andong, 30 minutes south of Yongju, there's a chicken feet village. Korea's renowned late night soju snack, famous for its tongue burning taste, is, for some reason, famous in this little area surrounded by mountains. Wanjo Yegoke Sutbu Dakbaljip is just baffling. According to Naver, they're open until 2 a.m., just like any city Dakbaljip would be. All I can say is, I don't know why or even how this place exists, but it's magic. Plain and simple magic. So today, Corny and I came to Yongju, and just outside of Yongju, we discovered this little area. For some reason, they're serving dakba, sutbu dakba. Okay, actually, I don't know the whole history of this place. If you guys know, if you wanna do some research and help me out, I would love to learn more about this place. They've been open for 45 years and it's just a little dakbao restaurant, but they also have gamegisa and makchang. It just seems like such a strange place. And um, it's absolutely wonderful. Like we're out here by the mountains, we're in the middle of the countryside with some suppu and some chicken feet and a little bit of meat. It's just amazing. They give you some bondegi, but this looks like homemade bondegi. It's like homemade bondegi. Some little pickled peppers, changyang gochu, of course, the chicken feet, some bondegi. Wow, nice. That is definitely not like store bought bondegi. The sauce is really, really thick, like gravy. I love grilling the chicken feet because you can get these little like charred bits because the chicken feet's very like frayed. It's beautiful. The meat's not quite ready. The chicken feet is. Oh, it's got those little crispy pieces on the end. I'm gonna try it just plain first. Wow. That is nice. <sighs> so it reminds me a lot of just chicken skin, but you can imagine like if you took chicken skin and grilled it over a charcoal fire till it gets really crispy. And I'm really surprised. So dakbao in Korea is always really spicy. This one here is not spicy at all. It's like a nice light, a nice light marinade, and I think that might be one of the things that differentiates them from just regular chicken feet. You know, this place is 45 years old. It's pr it's very easy to eat. Wow, it's good. I'm gonna make a wrap. Whoa. 
Oh, garlic. Garlic, samjang, dakba. Let's do it. Hmm. Samjang, you. Ah, soju, hambyang, say. Yeah. Hansamnira, no much, she's so. Korea, my kids are saying. <laughs> she said you're beautiful. I think you're beautiful too. God, this place is this is amazing. This is one of those places like if I lived out in the countryside, I'd lazily work I would work all day in the farm and then roll up here at like 6 p.m. and hang out with my buds until like 2 a.m. and just have soju and meat. I'm gonna try the Gamegi style here. Oh. Wow, that Maggie sauce is really good. The marinade's super light. Man, something about dak bao gets like a, a charred taste. It's really good. I love those charred bits. Like it's weird because the marinade is like. I don't know. I would say this is like Korea's version of buffalo wings. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you guys, I know I, there's a lot of people watching from the U.S. these days, and I have to say, dakbao is like Korea's answer to buffalo wings. Usually they're really spicy. No, I don't know. This is like just some about this place that what makes me want to like sit and get drunk in the country, in the beautiful air. Like, and the food is simple, but it's perfect. It's simple, but it's good. There's not a lot going on here, you know. I do wish it was a little bit spicier, but I don't blame them for it. This is not like modern dakbao. This is like old school dakbao. And it's weird, I guess I've never really had dakbao in this style, like barbecue style. Like, you know, you know what I mean? With wraps and samjang. Mm. This is a very different experience compared to most dakbao jib. That's seriously the feeling I have here. It's like I want to come here, eat a little bit, take a nap, listen to the birds, all these sounds around us, the drone of the TV in the background, and then just wake up and eat a little bit more chicken food. Pretty cool place. We're really close to Andong where chicken is very famous. I'm assuming there's some history with these chicken feet places, something to do with Andong being famous for chicken as well. I need to do a little more research. I discovered this place like yesterday and I was like, I've gotta go. I gotta go try this, this grilled chicken feet place. Definitely one of the most unique restaurants I've seen in Korea. It's just really random. Mm. Man, that's a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken feet. I really wonder if this is just like all the leftover feet from Jim Duck. <laughs> that probably is. That's probably why it's famous here. That's probably the answer. You know what else I noticed about this chicken feet too? It seems to me that sometimes I get chicken feet. <clears throat> it has a kind of like a really strong farmy gaminess to it. Almost like a stinky taste. But this tastes really clean. The most important thing is it tastes good. This is like easily some of the best chicken feet I've had in my life. I haven't had a lot of chicken feet, you know, growing up in the U.S., but I almost feel like sometimes they add so much spice to it because they don't want you to taste 
the flavor of the like the gaminess, but this one is so clean. It's really good. What about this one? I mean, do you like this one? I'm just genuinely curious. Wow. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. That's great. Let it be said, guys. Courtney just told me this is the first chicken feet restaurant that she's actually enjoyed. I mean, I think. I, I am so happy. This place, they give you the Sun Sao chicken feet with a dry rub on it and you grill it. It's like a completely different experience. It's very, very delicious. Very, very delicious. If I was a farmer here, I would come here. If I were a farmer here, I would come here and party every Friday night with my other buds. Please don't be surprised if you see me come back to this restaurant and film another video here. But next time I'll get makchang and maybe drink a lot more soju. You know? Fantastic. Really good. With that yomu, it's really nice. So crunchy. This place would be really fun on a super hot summer day, sitting outside and sweating. Sweating over the fire and then sweating. <laughs> Seriously. No, 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 no. No, no, sweating because drink enough soju that you're like sweating. And then when you're at the peak of your heat, you know, the spicy dakbao, the, the hot fire, you get yomu nengyan. Perfect finish. <sighs> this is the kind of restaurant where you just want to stay for hours. I don't know, at least I do. I just wanna like stick around. <laughs>